Welcome to Magpie Stories Writing Tips, a helping hand from one writer to another. If you enjoy the video, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. I hope you have a pleasant time listening. Tips on how to get writing. Writing is one of those pursuits that is just incredibly rewarding. You can put down ideas on a page, real or virtual, and explore characters and themes in new and interesting ways. It is also an art form that needs an investment from you. Yes, you reading this, you need to invest time into your work. Below are tips that I have found help put me in the frame of mind to write and not just think about writing. As with anything, the more time you put into it, the more you will get out of it. You need to get into habits that lay a strong foundation for your foray into the written word. Here are some tips that will get you well on the way. Just saying. Tip number one, time of the day. You know your routine best when you are motivated to do something and more importantly, when you are not, you need to work your writing into that routine. For me, I tend to work into the evenings. This might not work for you. If you finish a meal and have that immediate need to nap and sleep it off, don't do it then. Equally, you might have some of your best ideas in the morning, so make that a time that you will stick to. Make sure that you carve out and put aside some time to do some actual writing. Tip number two, have a space. By this, I mean a place that you can psychologically link to your writing. I am fortunate enough to have an office at home that I can use in order to scribble and type away. However, you might not have that luxury. It might be a dining table, bed, sofa, just somewhere that is comfortable for you to write at. When I shared a house, this was the dinner table and I very much had to consider the time of day that I wrote. It was that or have to try and work with some sporting event on in the background. Not really conducive to getting anything done. Tip number three, focus and the inevitable distractions. So, you've found time and space to write. You think to yourself, right, I have an hour and I'm gonna start writing my award-winning, well, whatever it is, let's call it a piece. You're full of good intentions. I refer you to this quote from an earlier writing tips piece, that idea of sitting on a chaise long, drinking something expensive and in sudden flourishes, spinning a fountain pen across expensive paper. You are ready to go. Oh, but wait, you just have to check your phone. Time wasted. 15 minutes at now, you need to find the perfect background music. Time wasted now, 27 minutes. Right, time to work. Oh, wait, you heard your phone go off. And while you read that all important WhatsApp, you need to respond to it with the perfect meme. Time now wasted, 36 minutes. You get the picture. The time that you set aside is eaten up with other things. What you need is simple. Have a drink and have a snack with you. Be ready to write. If needed, select the music before you start the session and turn off your phone. And if you're using a laptop, just launch your writing software of choice. Tip number four, what to write. It really doesn't matter what you write as long as you do so. It might just be sketching out the details of a plan, a poem, short story, novel. I'll be honest with you, you just need to get the words on the page. Worry about the editing later. Getting the words down is the foundation stone to getting you motivated. If you work and write for an hour, you will see the word count rise and rise, and you will realise that you are doing it, you are writing, and isn't that what you're here for? I'm a big proponent of playing with your writing. Have fun with it, try new things. I write short stories and publish them on my site. Shameless plug here, magpiestories.com. I use them to help with trialing ideas I can use in the writing of my first novel, currently a work in progress. I've dabbled in poetry and I use these writing tips to help with different narrative styles. Do the same, mess around, have fun, try something new, just pick up the f***ing pen. Tip number five, equipment needed. I cannot emphasise this enough, it's so simple. Write on, in, or using whatever you want. Just know this, you do not need a £2,000, dollar, euro or equivalent currency for the country you currently live in. Laptop to run Word. By the way, if you use office.com, you can get Word Basic for free as a starting off point. But Magpie Stories, I hear you cry, what do you use? Well, I have no set way of writing as a general rule, but I tend to use one of two methods. One, a pen and a notebook, and I have a shelf full of those a laptop and Microsoft Word. I will trial some other software down the line, but for now, 
it works for me and that's it tip number six throw away the stuff you don't like hang on scratch that no keep everything the simple thing is you should keep all of your notes and plans you will be amazed how much stuff you will look at years later and rekindle some of those ideas i went through phases up until well, august of 2020 where i would scribble some notes type some ideas and then leave them i gave some of them the light of the day um the other week um and i'll put a link up in the top corner it's a video called 393 words do the same keep those files and notes when you are genuinely stuck perhaps your older self might be able to unlock something bonus tip why do you write this one is not frivolous this one is really important think about why you write or why you want to write this is not to become famous etc this is the reason why you decided to pick up a pen or have thought about doing so almost a moral purpose for your writing i've thought long and hard about this and this is my reason for writing I write because I want to build a community of readers and writers to share ideas and spread a love of words to all those that I can. It sounds a bit silly, I know, but I go over this on those days when I feel I can't be arsed with writing or that stock favourite for procrastinators, I'll do it later. This reason why I write acts as motivation. It's been a real pleasure sharing some of these tips with you and I hope that they help some of you. Um, and... You'll hear from me again soon. Thank you for listening to Magpie Stories. If you found these tips helpful, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. You'll hear from me again soon.